Namaskar. I'm going to show you four different pictures. And once we are done watching these four pictures and the narratives, you will find one striking similarity. Let's first take a look at these pictures. The name of the girl is Pooja Or. She's 18 years old. She was living in Sukur, Sindh, Pakistan. She was shot dead for refusing to marry a Muslim. They tried to abduct her once before, couldn't succeed, she escaped. This time, when they again tried to abduct her and she resisted, they just shot her dead. This is hardly a week old incident. Let's take a look at the next one. Anita Meghwar. I don't know how old she is, but you can look at that face, very, very innocent and doesn't look like a very happy face. I'm all for people who willingly marry out of their religion. But this one was another case of forcible conversion and marriage to a Muslim boy. This is again in Sindh, Pakistan. Bidya Meghwar, 13 years old. Again, Sindh, Pakistan. Look at the innocence in this kid's face. She is hardly 13 years old. She could be our sister. She could be our daughter. And she has been forcibly converted to Islam and married to a Muslim. All these happen in Pakistan. And here's a shocker. Sabita Tanwani, 19 years old, London, United Kingdom, killed brutally with a sharp instrument. The boyfriend, a Tunisian, 22-year-old, Maher Maruf, has been arrested. Now, tell me something. What is wrong? What is the similarity between all these four? The girl, the victim, is always a Hindu. And the perpetrator is always a Muslim. Now, I want to ask a question to the congressmen and senators of United States because you are actively piloting this Islamophobia bill. Have you ever thought what kind of a message goes to all these perverts when you say, oh, we are very concerned about the discrimination to Muslims? Does this thing look like discrimination to you? Think about this. I really, really am so disappointed especially with those Hindu Americans who go as congressmen, congresswomen, or even senators in the United States Congress and Senate. They all know what is going on, yet they don't want to admit it. Vote bank politics, that's all it is. That's all they care about. All they care about is getting elected again and again and again and again. Well, all these chicken are going to come home to roost. I can tell you this is just the beginning. The United States is on a slippery slope. Not only just the United States, the West is on a slippery slope. And people are just getting emboldened whenever there is talk of Islamophobia. Which idiot is paying you money to pilot this bill? Can't you get that money somewhere else? Are you guys so deranged? Are you guys so desperate that you will take any kind of money just to promote a bill? I really, really can't understand what goes on in the minds of the congressmen and women. And then these congressmen from Democrats, all of them voted for this bill. Surely some of you must have thought about it. By the way, this is not limited to just Hindu girls in Pakistan. It affects all the Sikh girls, also affects all the Christians, Christian girls in Pakistan. They are very, very... Uh, non-discriminating in that. If you are a minority, you had it. In fact, they are so they are so intolerant that they they will discriminate against their own minorities, like the Shias, the Ahmadiyas. What is wrong with this country? This country that has an army, or rather, this army that has a country. This they they don't they don't deserve to rule. They don't deserve to be in power. Yet the whole world looks on benignly and whenever it passes this bill, instead of passing a religious phobia bill on any religion, they want to target only Islamophobia. 
I mean, deranged. That's all I can tell you. Deranged, demented, depraved, whatever it is, the mindset of those people who are voting for these things. If you can't see your way clear through all this, God save you and God help us. If you're going to continue doing these kinds of impossible to explain and justify um, actions. Surely the United States has a lot of other things to do. What about the infrastructure bill? What about trying to figure out what happened to all the illegal immigrants that were let in? First of all, they should have not been let in. After having let them in, they should have at least been checked for COVID. What are we doing for all those things? Now I hear that there's a fourth wave going on in China. And, and most of them were not vaccinated because Sinovac, Sinopharm, these are just placebos. So most of China, 1.4 billion is unvaccinated. And as you start opening up, they'll all start coming into US. And guess what? It is going to start another cycle. Please apply your mind. Try to fix that problem, not pass Islamophobia bill. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar. Thank you.